Hello and welcome to my channel Learn Teach Share. This video is a part of Jenkins video tutorial and in this video we will look into the process of upgrading Jenkins. We will also need to upgrade our Java. In my case I am using Java version 11. We will upgrade it to at least Java version 17 and we will do that. We will also perform the plugins updates using the Jenkins graphical user interface. But in order to upgrade Jenkins and Java, we will execute the commands from the cell of the machine where Jenkins is installed. So let's get started. So I will start with the Jenkins login page. The dashboard of the Jenkins shows us one information regarding new version of Jenkins and there is also this warning to update the plugins. The current version of Jenkins I am using is 2.401.2 .2, and the available version is 2.426.3. We can also look into the change log from here. So in this version there has been some security fixes and other things. We can look into the security advisory for example from here. So what were the vulnerabilities can be read from here. You can also directly come to this page from this security tab and security advisories. And here is the latest one. You can also see the available versions. If you want to look into the long term support stable versions, you can go to the upgrade guide from here which lists all the versions. So this is the version I am using and I'm trying to upgrade it to this version. So I will log out of the Jenkins dashboard. I will then open a cell in the machine where my Jenkins server is running. We will look into the status of Jenkins. So it is running. Before we move forward, I hope you have installed your Jenkins following the steps that is given in the Jenkins installation page of Jenkins website. So I'm referring to this page here. I will first of all clear this screen. Then I will update my local repository index using the command So this will update my local repository index. I will then execute the command to upgrade the packages. This will upgrade all the packages including Jenkins. This will take some time depending on the number of packages installed in your system.
you can also see from here that it's setting up Jenkins 2.426.3 it is still doing some upgrade work but at this point Jenkins should be ready to be used so let's navigate to the browser so we have our Jenkins upgraded you can see that the login page has an upgraded view We still have one notification here. So it notifies us that Java 11 end of life in Jenkins. Currently, I am running Java 11. So the support for this version will end after September 30, 2024. So the date of recording this video is January 30th of 2024 so I have like about eight months remaining so it's a good idea to upgrade my Java to the supported version so I will upgrade my Java to version 17 also there is this warnings about plugin And there is also this warning about inbuilt executor. It's a good idea not to use built in executor, but there are situations or scenarios where you want to use built in executors. So I'll go back to the sale and upgrade my java to java version 17. i'll clear the screen first and check the version it's 11 then since i ran the update command earlier i will skip that command and directly install java version 17 might take some time and it's installed I'll check the version once again and the version is 17 now I will restart the Jenkins server now so that it uses the upgraded version of Java Now the notification regarding the Java or the notification icon has disappeared from here and we only have these couple of warnings for the plugins. Let's go to the plugin manager from here or we can also go from the manage Jenkins menu and plugins. We want to stay in the updates menu here or updates tab here. It shows that there are 58 updates available. It depends on what are the plugins you want to update. But in this video, I will update all the plugins that are ready for updates. I will click on the update button and the download 
starts. It will take some time depending on the speed of the internet. You can see there are some download successfully message which means that these are only downloaded and we need to restart our Jenkins server so that we can start using the updated plugins. There are also some plugins which have been installed successfully and these do not in fact require restart. There are still many plugins that are being downloaded. Once the download is completed, restart Jenkins by checking this checkbox. All the plugins have been downloaded. I will check this and it restarts. Need to wait for some time. There is a message deals and agent scan usually continue. So this is a safe restart where if there were some jobs running in some executors, those will continue. Now the Jenkins server has restarted. I'll go to the dashboard. We still can see that there is one warning message. This is a warning for built-in node. We will dismiss this one. Now we do not have any warning or notification icon appearing here. And if we see here, we have Jenkins version 2.426.3. Before I end this video, I want to show you a different way of upgrading Jenkins. You can go to the Jenkins space and in the download page, you can find this generic Java package and by right clicking it, you can get the link to this file. You can then open your Jenkins server and use, for example, wget and download this file here. After it gets downloaded, you can move this file to before moving that file to this location, stop the Jenkins service or stop the Jenkins server process and move this file to this location, then restart the Jenkins service once again and in this way also you can upgrade Jenkins to the newest version. So I hope you found this video useful and learned something from it. If you liked this video, give a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to my channel Learn to Share. See you in my next video.